How's it going YouTube? Today I'm really excited to bring you an unboxing and first look at the BlackBerry Z10. Now this phone at the point of recording this video is being announced today, so this video will be up at some point today. And uh, let's have a quick look around the box. Now you've got serial numbers just on this side, uh, in fact just on the right hand side just there, along with uh, BlackBerry branding on either side. So let's jump straight in there and have a look see what you get in the box. So here we go. And there it is, the BlackBerry Z10. And it looks and feels really, really nice. Very light at the moment because there's no battery in there. So we'll have a look at that in a second. Also in the box. This is very familiar. A lot of smartphones come with this now. And this will be all the pamphlets and quick stop guides, no doubt. So, a few booklets there. Snapdragon processor telling you what processor is running on, basically. Um, and I think it's a 1.5 gigahertz uh, dual core processor in there, actually. Uh, and it also supports 2 gigabytes of RAM as well. Headphones. And micro USB to USB cable. And of course, the battery. And it's a very long battery, actually. LS1. So, we'll have a look at that in a second. And the power brick is no doubt just your standard USB power brick. Well, I'll have a look at that anyway. Yeah, standard triangular three pin UK uh, with USB in one of the ends. So on with the star of the show. So here it is, so we're gonna just peel that off. And I have to say that does look really, really nice. I love these new Blackberries. And uh, I've never been a fan of Blackberries. I mean, I used to have one uh, years and years and years ago, but I think they got outdated very quickly. So I'm really excited to see uh, Blackberry back with something like this. Looks very, very cool. Real nice, uh, almost like rubbery feel to the back. And obviously you get the film on the front as well. And there you go. So very, very nice 4.2 inch screen. Uh, and I believe it's got a resolution of 768 by 1280. So that should give you a pixel density of 355 pixels per inch. So very, very nice with a BlackBerry just stamped just in there, as you can see, just there. If we look at the side, you can see it's got a volume rocker button there and there. And there is another button there, I'm not sure what that is. I'm guessing that's going to be some kind of uh, power lock key. I'm not 100% sure. In fact, there's nothing else down there, so that's most likely what it is. Uh, in fact, no. That's most likely the power key just there. You've got a microphone on top, 3.5mm headphone jack, and if we look at the side, we have got a micro USB just there, and what looks like a, some kind of a micro HDMI lead. Not 100% sure what that plug is, um, but this is just an unboxing to see what we get. I'll, in fact, I'll probably power it on as well just to see what the first boot up uh, screen is like. So let's just pop the battery in there. In fact, while we're talking about battery, let's see what kind of battery it is as well. So let's get that ripped open. So it's an 1800 milliamp hour battery as you can see just there. So let's get that in the phone. So there is a little groove just there. Get your nail behind it. Pop it open. The battery only fits in one way so just pop it in like that. Uh, also, it does take up to a 32 gigabyte SD card, and it has got uh, 16 gigabytes internal memory, I believe. And if I'm not mistaken, that's micro SIM card as well. So again, just slots in, you just follow it around the edges, and clip it all in. And it's going through its boot up screen. In fact, Whilst that's booting up, we'll look at the front facing camera. That's a 2 megapixel, and that's capable of recording 720p at 30 frames per second. The rear camera is 8 megapixel, and that's capable of recording 1080p at 30 frames per second as well. Uh, this does support NFC as well, which is pretty cool. And depending on your region, it can support 4G as well. So there it is, BlackBerry 10.
So because this is the first time I've used this, I'm going to just quickly uh, do this. In fact, it's asked me to put the SIM card in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the SIM card in there, have a good play with it, know my way around the operating system, and then I'll uh, update you with a follow-up video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe, and you'll be notified when I put a new video up.